Hello, uh, basically I'm going to go through the settings with you guys, uh, explain it all to you, I've done a little, a lot, quite a lot of research on this, uh, to see the, and get, uh, you know, explain it to you, because there's really nowhere, I couldn't find anywhere, it just tells me everything to do with it. Uh, we also put this in the caption so you can read through it, because I realise my voice is quite irritating. So, uh, I'll just go through this with you. Okay, so we've got video settings. Your resolution here. This should be your monitor's native resolution. Uh, you can find this out by going to the settings in your monitor. Uh, so, I have the All I have to do is press the option button. It comes up uh, your maximum resolution down the bottom there. Or, you can right click on the desktop. Um, and then go to screen resolution. And then it will tell you down here your native resolution. Oh, right. Uh, so we've got brightness here now. Now that is literally just personal preference, pretty much. It's just making sure that blacks are blacks and that you can see the dark greys with the blacks. You can see the light greys as a light grey, white is white, etc. You know, it's pretty, it's just personal. Um, window mode. Window mode is what I'm running right now, as you can see around. Um, this runs in a small window, in your normal window, so it looks like, say, using the internet. It means you can move it around. Um, it also means you can, it's easier to walk time out, so you can use the internet while you, you're dead. Um, things like that. But also, if you're full immersive gaming, I would recommend full screen. However, the uh, windowed mode here allows you to use print screen and other screen recorders like what I'm using right now. Um, Obviously, then we've got texture quality, world DL, character DL, um, and particle DL. Now, this is pretty much determined by the power of your card. Uh, so, if you have a powerful card, you're going to pretty much have high settings. But uh, if you're unsure on the power of your card, and then start from low and work your way up. Uh, use a frame rate counter like Fraps uh, to see what is the best card, what is the best settings for you. Um, Preferably, you want around the same frames as your monitor's refresh rate. So, my monitor's uh, 60 hertz. So, I, I I want about 60 frames per second, which means I can pretty much max out all my settings. Uh, your particle DL, um, obviously, in a game with these other DLs, particles are the tiny effects that add to the visuals. So, you know, you've got games with magic spells. Uh, this has explosions, it's all the little details that make the whole game run smoother. And then we've got V-Sync. Okay, so this stops tearing by limiting, uh, so tearing I mean the, where the screen cuts in half as you move. It stops it by limiting uh, your monitor's refresh rate, your, your, the game and output frames to your monitor's refresh rate. But, only use this if your card can produce higher frames per second than your monitor's refresh rate. So say you're a 60 frames per second monitor, but your card can give out 75. Use VSync um, because that will limit and stop the tear, and that's very successful. But if you don't, if you don't hit over that and you hit under, so say you hit only 60%, this will actually make the gameplay feel worse. Uh, it's quite complicated why, but basically it preloads only say two thirds of the next frame, so it, it, it breaks the whole thing. If you can't hit the over the the native resolution uh, refresh rate, sorry, if you want, if you can't hit over that, then use this down here, which is frame rate smoothing. It's much more efficient. I actually have this enabled anyway, so I don't experience tearing that much. Um, but no, VSync is good. And so is frame rate smoothing. Frame rate smoothing is pretty much just what it says on the tin, but it smooths the, the frame rate. So from frame to frame, just move that and make it look real. So next up, we've got um, I my letterbox in. Um, to be honest, I couldn't really find much DL about that. I presume if you set your resolution wrong, it will just downgrade it and give you the black bars like in the old white screen movies on a 4x3 screen. So you've got dynamic shadows. Now this is basically, you know, will show your shadow, your friend's shadows for real. So say you reload, okay, that, that your shadow's going to reload with you. Um, if you disable this, it turns into a static blur. So it's just literally a blob on the floor which moves around with you. 
you've got a decal, I don't know how you pronounce it, a decal coal scout. I've did a bit of research on this, I don't know how accurate it is. First, let me go through decal. Decal is the things like bullet holes and blood splatter, uh, along with other things. So, just, you know, adds to the effect. I found that decal coal scout is perhaps the distance at which you can see these decals. I'm not too sure how true that is. Static decals, uh, these are pretty much. Um, so let me just look at this for a sec. There we go. Uh, your static decals are pretty much the same shape, pattern, appearance. Um, so you always see just the same things, not much changes. Uh, whereas you've got your dynamic decals, which do change, so each bullet hole will be a different size. It won't always be in the same pattern. It looks more unique, realistic, and you know, blood goes different places. Fog volumes, again, I don't know how true this one is, but uh, apparently it's just the fog in the distance, so from fires, explosions, things like that. Um, it's literally just all of that. Dynamic lights, so this is different colours, um, brightnesses, it adds to glare and reflections, things like that. Just makes the whole thing feel more real. Uh, distortion, uh, it distorts view basically more real. Uh, so the further you know you view, so if you have a higher uh, field of view, it's going to be more blurry in certain places because that's where you wouldn't normally be able to see. You've got bloom. Um, I don't know how true this is again, uh, but basically when grenades and other items go off, things like that. Anything that would blind you in real life, it would actually increase your screen brightness to give you more of an effect. Uh, so if you disable this, it would just make the screen go white, but not get brighter. Whereas normally it would get white and brighter at the same time to sort of knock you off, uh, you know, put you off a little bit. Motion blur. This is pretty much again, uh, like in real life. So if you turn your head, you're not going to see everything in pure clarity. It's blurry a little bit until finally your eyes readjust. The same thing happens inside, just adds to the realism. Depth of field. Um, so, this is just the, the distance between the nearest and furthest objects. So, DirectX 11 option increases this, but it does lower your frames per second. Uh, so, lower this if you're high frames per second. So, you've got ambient occlusion. I think that's how you say it. I'm not very good at this. But it's uh, an approximate of how the light radiates in real life, so how it would reflect off um, objects, materials, things like that, make it look more. Um, this post process MLLA, this is pretty much just anti analyzing, it makes the game look smooth, or more pleasant to the eye, smooths all the edges. Uh, high is better for in game, but it does decrease the quality of text and vice versa. So. Um, you know, just any analysing in any other game, so I just rename different light shafts. Now, this one took a little bit of, um, of research, but basically, think of the particles like I was discussing earlier particles in the air, so blood, fog, etc. Well, light refl reflects off these different particles in different ways. So, this light shaft actually shows you this. Let me auto load this. I found you a real life photo, um, this one here. So, you see how you can see. Uh, the different light reflections of the fog, so it, th that is that is pretty much what it's doing there, it's making it more real. Frame rate movement, so I covered that. Basically, what it says on the box, uh, DirectX 11 should be enabled unless you run in XP. Um, screen door fade should be disabled. Uh, it causes more glitches and things than anything else. Uh, but uh, have it enabled if you want. I, I don't really see the point in this one. Weather effects, uh, just I think it's just weather. So water, you know, rain, etc. You can disable that if you want. Tessellation scale. I'm not too sure how true this one is either. But it's basically making the 2D object look more free by decreasing, no, increasing the amount of sort of like uh, parts of it. So if you were to take a part. I don't know, a globe made of puzzles, puzzle pieces. Well, tessellation increases the 
decreases the size of them puzzle pieces to increase the amount of puzzle pieces. Or if you have it set to low, if you've got larger puzzle pieces, but it makes it less round, makes it more look like a hexagon. I didn't explain that very well. Use your imagination a bit. Image reflections is pretty obvious, it's just reflections off the wall on the ground. So now we've got game. SSD videos. So when you're in game and you'll find there's certain screens on the wall, if you've got an SSD it will actually start to play movies on that screen. If you haven't, it will just be a picture. You can actually customise these videos, but that'll be in another video. Uh, requires a lot of, a lot of attention. Scoreboard toggle. So it says there pretty much set the in game scoreboard to toggle, but only display when the button is held. I have this disabled because I just hold tab when I want to see the scoreboard. Auto reload, I normally I, have, I like this enabled because basically if you come into the handy for a clip, it will reload for you. Uh, I often forget to reload, so I have that on. Auto weapon switch, uh, I have this disabled, I have to turn that off. Um, basically, when you run out of ammo, it will actually switch the weapon for you. But what I find is it confuses me because as I go to switch the weapon, it actually turns back to my main weapon, which is empty. So, to say I like that disabled. But yeah, as, as I said, you run out of ammo, that switches over for you. Field of view, literally just how much wide, you know, how wide you can see. Um, so, literally, the distance between your left and the right. Um, you know, basically like depth of field, but vertical. Um, gore, blood, basically, uh, when you get a headshot and their head falls off, that sort of stuff, you can turn this off and make it friendly again. Top off visibility of the uh, HUD, so like map, basically. Um, I, I don't really like map, I like to just run around and enjoy the game. Hot chat, enabled, so when you press enter, things like that, a little, uh, box come up with the chat in, that's that. Social notifications, so friends, clans, parties and things like that when they come online, they pop up there. Tutorials, well, if you need them, you know, enable them, but it gets in the way. That's why you come on YouTube when you're watching this. Um, smart, let's go. I didn't look that up actually, I don't know what that is. Static crosshair. So this is just a lot of ease here, so you can customise this how you want. Um, obviously I've got an SSD, but I don't really like that. So yeah, that's it really. Uh, so once you've got your the settings that best match your system, you can come out of this bag again. Enjoy this for how you want. See, I'm just going to get into the game to show you. I experience quite a lot of texture errors actually sometimes on one of the maps, which is very irritating. I don't know if it will show up in the camera. I haven't checked that out yet. So, uh, yeah. just wait for me to get into the game. Excuse me. I usually stay at the top as well. Last week down 28 kills, 8 kills. Pretty good, I suppose. Actually, let's not challenge the new people out there. It's probably going to annoy me. So, as you can see, it's not even a C screen server. frames and I have a uh, screen recorder going off. You won't see the over 100 frames because I'm only calling that like 24 